Hello, it's me again for another Doodle with Duddle, the second one. Um, I'm Johnny Duddle and I write books and I also do the colouring in. Today I'm going to draw a Parasophorophorus. In the book he's called Bill, because Parasophorophoruses kind of have a duck bill. Um, and if you met him on TV he's called Rocky. The names are a little bit confusing. I was thinking maybe I should do a picture with their book names and their TV names. Um, even if it's just to help me, so I don't get confused. This one's going to be slightly trickier, because I'm going to draw Rocky, or Bill, holding a egg. An egg, sorry. Um, this is him in the book, so I'm going to draw him a bit like this, but I'm going to have an egg out in front of him. And you can draw what you like in the egg. We'll see what I do on mine, I'm not actually decided yet. So, to start off with, Parasaurol offices have a big bony, sticky-outy thing. So you can start off drawing that, and it's a bit like a banana. I'm going to draw it kind of slightly lighter, just to sort of make sure that it fits on, and the shape's okay. So here's his banana. I hope you can just about see that. And then he has a big round eye. And his other eye's over here, and his so that's kind of about the right shape, so I'm going to press a bit harder. So it's always good to sort of learn how to sort of draw slightly lighter when you start drawing to get the shapes right. And then when you're a bit more sure of what you're drawing, you can press a little bit harder. So this side is poking out from the other side, and we'll draw his pupil with a little dot with a light reflecting on his pupil. And this eye's you can see the whole eye. with a couple of little wrinkles underneath it and there's the pupil with a little reflection of light if you look at anyone's eyes you can normally see a little reflection of light and there's his iris you can color it in if you want I'm not sure what color eyes he had in the book I think he had I think he had brown eyes and then parasaurolophorophoruses have their nostrils somewhere on this long bit here and I think they could blow air out of them I'm not entirely sure maybe you can tell me and here's his nostrils and at the end of the banana, I left a little gap, and that so could fit his mouth in. Maybe we'll do him smiling, well, kind of smiling, and some teeth, and a little shady bit for the inside of his mouth. There. And then we're going to draw his body. So, again, if I'm going too fast, just pause it and try and draw the bit um, I've drawn already. You can go back and start again if it goes a bit wrong. I sometimes do that. He's a different shape to the Diplodocus. Diplodocuses have very long necks, whereas Parasophorophoruses aren't quite as elongated. So I'm going to draw a... His head comes down here. And it's a similar shape. It's kind of a round shape. I'm pressing a bit lightly because I need to draw his arms in. And it's kind of a round shape and then it curls up for his tail. Very similar to the Diplodocus I drew before, but just a slightly rounder shape. Maybe we'll bring that in a bit. Oh, and then I press really hard just where his arms are going to go. So I'm saying things and not doing them myself. His arms, he's going to be holding this egg. So if I go like that and I wrinkle where it joined his body, Another curve, there's his, where's one arm? Maybe I'll try and rub out that little bit there where I pressed too hard because I was chalking too much. There we are. And then a ha hands are really hard. So sometimes I sort of hold things and take photos of my phone or I take photos of my wife or my, my daughters holding things. Um, normally when they're trying to do something else, I say, just hold this, and I take a photo because hands are quite tricky. But if he's holding an egg, let's, where would the egg go? Let's sort of, quite a big egg. So eggs are sort of thicker at one end and thinner at the other. So there's a lightly drawn egg look. He has one thumb here. And his hands, his fingers are kind of go underneath it. So you won't be able to see them very well. And that's kind of like a funny sort of hand shape look. Actually, that's a massive hand, isn't it? Kind of ignore how big his hand is. Maybe this parasaurol officer in particular has very big hands. His other fingers on the other side could just be poking around the side here of the egg. 
and that's his maybe I'll have it broken like this so something's poking out the top of it not sure what yet I'll decide while I'm drawing the rest so his other arm here's his other hand look and that could just be here a bit like it's behind and maybe just sh shade it a little bit like that so it looks like it's further back there and he's holding his egg so now I'm going to press a bit harder on the body maybe I should draw the legs because yesterday I didn't leave enough space for the legs when I drew the Diplodocus so his legs would kind of go about here I think draw some ground in be quite rough you're doing little rocks again maybe a plant some grass and his other leg so just some wrinkles where his leg joins his body and his toenails like this and a wrinkly knee oh maybe I should rub out that bit of Whoa. I've got a drawing board here that's a bit on a bit of a slope and things kind of roll off it when I'm not careful you might have noticed I'm drawing in a red pencil actually I know I drew in a black pencil when I drew the Diplodocus, but sometimes I draw I draw in all sorts of colours, depending on what pencil's handy. And sometimes I just kind of like the look of drawings when they're not drawn in black. Depends if you need to colour it in. Sometimes if you draw it in a bright colour, it might not work very well if you colour it in. There's his other leg behind. So we shade that like that. It looks like it's behind his body. You could shade the whole thing really, just lightly, like this, and then it looks like it's further back. And we'll draw the rest of his back look. Curves round. And if you do like a little, that makes a tail look more 3D. So he's holding this egg. I have no idea what I'm going to draw in the egg yet. Maybe I'll leave the egg and wait for some suggestions. There can be some spots on the egg. And what else does he need? Oh, he needs, in the book, like the Diplodocus I drew, he's got this pale bit and then this pink bit here. So we need to draw the line where this pale bit goes. It kind of goes round his mouth, almost following his mouth, then down his body, the other side of his leg here, and then up his tail, like that. And you can draw a few lines in like this if you like. And then he has the little ridges. I should have tried to find out what those little ridgy things are called rather than just ridgy things. There we are. And then you can start drawing some scales. So I think I said when I drew the Diplodocus that scales are really good fun to start with but when you've drawn loads of dinosaurs they start getting a little bit tedious, a little bit boring. So we'll draw some scales, try and draw them a bit lighter. A little wrinkle on his elbow. Again, I've drawn this quite fast because I don't want to make the videos too long. So if it takes you longer to draw it, just pause the video, go back, draw a bit more, or if it goes wrong, get another piece of paper and start again. There's lots of, lots of scales. I probably should draw something sticking out the egg. Now, maybe it's just an Easter egg made of chocolate. You can do what you like when you draw yours. Maybe if you do it in black, you can colour it in. Um, I think I might do, in one of the TV episodes, as a baby, Parasophiloporophorus. Um, so maybe I drew the baby Parasophiloporus in this. So babies normally have much bigger eyes compared to their heads. So if I do the eyes almost as big as... Almost as big as Bill's or Rocky's eyes. I'll just do one eye first, look like that. And then I'll work out maybe his little horny thing's a bit a bit smaller. You can have a head here, look. And then remember it's a bit like a banana. And another big eye here.
there. Maybe his fingers could be poking off the edge. Like he's just getting out of the egg. I think it's just like a few little sausages, really. And shade a couple of the pointy bits so it looks like they're behind. There, I think that's kind of done. Remember, if you go wrong, start again. Get another piece of paper. I have I thought it'd be good when I do these to just draw with a pencil. Um, so these are just some coloured pencils and just printer paper. The paper we've got just for printing sort of letters and things off. Um, it's not posh paper or anything. Um, one thing, I when you're drawing characters, you can always draw it differently to mine. So you might want to make yours a taller Parasaurolophorus, draw it in a different colour, have him looking really miserable or have him looking sort of angry or running along or whatever you like. But if you look at these, these are the sketches I first did of Bill when I was trying to do it for the book. And you can see how different he looks. So in this one, he's got a very tall, bony, pointy, horny thing. And his eyes are right in the middle and he's got a thinner head. And this one, I put the eyes further down. And he looks really different to when they're high up. So just by changing it a little bit, it makes him look really different. So maybe play around and have him in this one. He looks kind of strange, actually. Um, and so I drew these ones before I came up with the finished design, before I came up with the finished bill. So that's kind of about it. If you do a drawing and you really like it, please sort of post it on um, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Um, and I'm going to try and cobble together some collages to show sort of the ones that people have sent me. And I think that will do. Um, also, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, then so that it's probably easier to search for Doodle with Doodle with Ash Daggy thing. Um, I'll try and draw a Triceratops tomorrow or even later today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.